What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Saturday. Okay guys, March 19th. We have a three These picks game apply for DraftKings tonight. and FanDuel. So Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit position. that red subscribe button and hit I that like bell Russell icon Westbrook so you don't miss our new videos. In this LA video, Lakers I'm going to go over my top picks for today's Wizards. NBA slate. And if you we'll stick around to the, the very end of this video, overall. we'll use the draft the dashboard the tools to make a DFS lineup guards. using the picks we just made. Russell Westbrook has averaged 39.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. But he's got a good matchup here tonight, at least a fast paced game which I think favors Russell Westbrook's play style. I think he can score 45 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 8,700 DraftKings salary, and he's 1,800 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 230.5 points scored in this game, and Russell Westbrook has scored 55, 31, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 35, and 34 minutes. And he's had some pretty good success versus the Wizards. He scored 26, 55, 62, 54, and 42 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Wizards. So I like Russell Westbrook here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Jalen Brunson from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the second worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards, also eligible at the point guard position. Jalen Brunson has averaged 30.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 30.1 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 32 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 6,300 DraftKings salary and 1,100 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 225.5 points scored in this game. And Jalen Brunson has scored 35, 28, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 34, and 36 minutes. So I like Jalen Brunson here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, everyone, it's time to announce the winner of our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Gary Roan. Gary Roan, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $25 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So I got a couple of dart throws for you here at the small forward position. These guys are both high risk, high reward, because you're not sure how many minutes these guys are gonna play, but they do have some pretty big upside for their low salary, especially on DraftKings. Take a look at Austin Reeves and Avery Bradley, both from the LA Lakers playing the Washington Wizards Austin Reeves scored 33 fantasy points last game and played 27 minutes. And Avery Bradley scored 22 fantasy points last game, playing 24 minutes. So 
Austin Reeves is 3,500 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel, and Avery Bradley is 3,300 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards Avery Bradley if he's going to get 20 plus minutes in this game. I think he can score 20 fantasy points or more. But Austin Reeves has, bre has been um, playing, he played 27, 21, and 16 minutes in the last three games. So he's getting, you know, around 20 plus minutes per game. So I think he has 20 plus fantasy point upside as well. But these are high risk, high reward, uh, high risk, high reward tournament plays. But in a three game slate, if you want to get some low salary exposure this game, pick one of those guys. And then you got a ton of salary left over for the rest of your lineup. So I like Austin Reeves or Avery Bradley here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Marvin Bagley from the Detroit Pistons playing the Cleveland Cavaliers who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Marvin Bagley has averaged 22.5 fantasy points per game on the season, but he was only playing an average of 23 minutes per game. Now his minutes per game have increased quite a bit. He scored 42, 25, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 29, and 31 minutes. He's at about one fantasy point per minute, so if he can get 30 plus minutes in this game, I think he can score over 30 fantasy points here. And he's 6,200 DraftKings salary, 400 less on FanDuel. So I like Marvin Bagley here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, we had this pick yesterday, and this is a back-to-back -back for the Cavaliers, but I think this guy's still in play here tonight. We had uh, Lori Markkinen, who scored 60 fantasy points yesterday, played 42 minutes, so that he played 42 minutes is a little concerning because he's on a back-to-back. -back. But um, his season average is 31 minutes. So I could see him getting around his season average. And he's still just 5,900 DraftKings salary. 200 more on FanDuel. But, so I think he is in play here tonight. But I'm a little concerned with that back-to-back. -back, him having played 42 minutes yesterday. And putting up 60 fantasy points could be a letdown game but I could also see him getting 30 fantasy points or more and getting five times value or more so I think he's in play if you want to go to him so I like Lori marketing here versus the Detroit Pistons okay moving on to the center position I like Montrez Harrell from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Dallas Mavericks who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing centers. Montrez Harrell has averaged 26.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's a point per minute monster at 1.13 fantasy points per minute, projected at 24.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 4,500 DraftKings salary, 200 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 225.5 points scored in this game. And Montrez Harrell has scored 28, 10, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 20, 17, and 22 minutes. 
so I would like to see him play a little bit more minutes, but he can get the job done in limited action, especially at that low price tag on both sites. So I like Montrez Harrell here versus the Dallas Mavericks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.